continue the story. I've been doing like offline grinding and stuff. Yeah, I'm okay. My hand's been a little rough the past two days. Uh, I've taken medicine though, and I took it easy yesterday and didn't do much. So. Why would I want to use the level 26 team when I have a level 30 team? <laughs> it's literally the same team, but different level <laughs> with equipment and stuff. I'm good. Whoa. This place feels even more bleak than the last hollow we went to. The ether concentration here is higher, too. Well... It has been a hollow for a long time. It's not just dangerous, it's also close to the old capital. No good will come of staying here too long. Let's just find that pile driver ASAP. The proxy said the pile driver isn't far ahead, so it shouldn't take too long to bring it back, right? Blind optimism can be dangerous, Anton. After all, the heavy-duty grappler and boring machine we found both experience pretty significant personality changes. And Grace has yet to find the reason behind it. <laughs> so what if it's changed? It's still our own company's smart machinery. How much trouble could it really cause? Let's get going. Oh, Anton. Target located. Proceed with the recovery. Oh, Anton. This guy's dramatic! Let's find a nearby detour. Quietly. No problem, boss. I'll crouch. <gasps> Have we been spotted? He's running away. Let's get him! Warning, the target machine's hydraulic impact mechanism is accumulating energy. Speculation. It intends to perform a pile-driving motion against the ground. Please clench your teeth while falling to avoid biting off your tongue. Watch out! You're gonna fall into the fissure! <laughs> is everyone alright? Uh, I'm alright. We need to figure out a way to get back. Good morning, good morning. The 
target mission speculation. Starlight Knights. Yep, we're going down again. <laughs> that old trick again? Cut it out! You think I'm gonna give up if you push me away again? Save it, Anton. Kill it in person. I did pull an S rank yesterday without you guys seeing because I was doing stuff offline, but yeah. I got Agent 11, so I didn't get anybody like that I wanted. Like I want Nekomata, but I guess with Agent 11 I'm gonna make a, a dodgy Just team. I would like to have oh, Agent Eleven, Nekomata, and uh, who else was it that I? Oh, Ela, uh, Ellen, Ellen. Abandoned building complex detected ahead. Confirmed. Because they they're all dodgy, to go. dodgy, dodgy people. Master, the target. Can, should I broadcast some trash talk to him? Please choose a style: vicious, nasty, or. Twisted. I can also alternate between eight. Found it. In Hollow Industrial Pile Driver Type Three. Friday. Friday. Our gal Friday. Us. I wonder what personality this one's gonna have. No worries. We already convinced two problem children. It's time to hear what this guy has to say. It's charging at us without even a word? It's running away. It, uh, it's running? What are you all waiting for? Go after it! Oh, what's happening? Uh, finally, we cut it off. Hold it there! We can't let it get away again! What's up? Ah! Things are getting hot! Why are we fighting it? Oh no, I guess it is fighting us. Okay. Crash it! Go 
completely silent this whole time maybe his language module is broken no way it can obviously understand us okay i know you can hear me let's talk you ran away with two other machines one was a dude who desires self-fulfillment the other a young girl passionately in love what about you who are you and what do you want what? Don't you have any weird character traits? How dare you? Huh? Traits? Ridiculous. Mere mortals. How dare they speak us out of turn about my most wondrous mission? I'm the enlightened sinner. I've come at the stabilize the seal and guard <laughs> this place on my mental Oh my god, he's a journey! Thou shalt leave at once! He's a journey! The enlightened sinner? Stabilize the seal? Ah, I get it. <laughs> so these are delusions of grandeur. Enough! Yep. <sighs> Do you have any idea how dangerous it is to go running around in a hollow? Thou art the unreasonable ones. The seal is weak, and once it is broken, broken. this place shall be devastated. devastated. Stay here. I shall force my way through. Stop right there. My mentor, I come in. It does. Ben, stop him. Uh. Uh. If possible, I'd like to solve this peacefully. Oh, Ben. I'm, I'm sorry. Great job, bro. Ultra color nice. vibes from the robot, Now's yeah. <laughs> I'm here. Leave it to me. <laughs> I appreciate your imagination, my child. But let's talk about it when we get back. I love that they made it a true name. Don't undermine the most wondrous cause! Wait! Let's talk! Stay away! S turns out this guy can actually talk like a normal person. Listen to me! I'm not lying! I hear the calling from my mentor horse! I can't fail him! <sighs> What's going on? Why is he mentioning that name? What? What? I missed one! What? Where did I miss one? I can't even remember how long it's been since I heard his name. Horse Bellabog. Bellabog Industries, previous president. And my father. Kaleda, look! This is what Daddy told you about. Bellabog's first independently developed smart construction machine. This is the prototype you were talking about? When will you finish building it? Well, that'll take a whole lot of money. Money Daddy's company just doesn't have right now. Plus, we lack the production to build such powerful machinery. But don't worry. One day, my little girl will be riding in the machine her old man built. <laughs> you know, it's not just any machine. It's got a heart your dad made in it. It'll be able to understand your commands and endure all the hollow's dangers. <sighs> wow. Here, Kaleda, give it a name. When you call out that name, it'll accomplish whatever you need it to. Later, 
Daddy's busy right now. Bidding on the new project, the prototype's manufacturing fee. Then there's the final review at Pioneer's Memorial Plaza. One minute. I'll be done soon. Daddy promises. <laughs> Liar. What? Mr. Bellabog, I'm sure you understand this will be better for all of us. Daddy. You want me to pretend like nothing happened? Are you kidding me? Just come out with it! What exactly is in there? Hello? Hello? Say something! Dad? It's so late! Where are you going? I don't want to be home alone! I want to go with you! <sighs> Come on, Kalita, stop it! There's an emergency. I have to go now. Just stay at home and be good. Daddy will be back in no time. I promise. Just like that, he vanished. The liar. President? President? What was the name you gave the robot, though? Uh, ben, you were saying something? Yes, the commission is completed. Mr. Proxy came to collect their bamboo. What's the robot's name? I want to know the robot's name. This is clearly the one that your dad made. <laughs> we might have had some trouble along the way, but we've recovered all three machines. And with that, all the commissions Bellabog assigned you have been completed. We were able to get out of that tough spot, thanks to you. Thanks again for your help, Phaeton. Grace is analyzing the machines right now. With her skills, she should be able to find the reason that... Uh... What? You got something to say? There's something on my mind. When the pile driver mentioned the name Horse, he made an odd face. Uh, oh, uh, would you look at the time? Uh, <clears throat> President, if we don't go deal with that commission fee for Mr. Proxy now, we won't be able to transfer the money tomorrow. Ben, don't worry. It's okay. If we don't tell them, the proxy could just look it up online. Besides, they helped us and they're trustworthy. We don't have to avoid it. Yeah. Proxy, you saw Anton on that show before, right? Did the host mention years ago there was a scandal involving Bellabox president who disappeared with a bunch of money? Well, that president of Bellabog was horse. Horse Bellabog. So, yes, he was my father. The night before the old capital fell, a large sum of money suddenly disappeared from Bellabog's accounts, and the old man went missing. Oh, so he's not Pops dead. Investigated he's missing. And said the financial burden of Bellabog, coupled with the possibility the memorial square we were building at the time might not be completed on schedule, caused Horace to embezzle the public funds and run. Bellabog Industries had an extremely hard time because of one old man's irresponsible behavior but we're back on our feet now that's right you've really been through a lot i'm glad that you've turned the corner thank you at any rate i stopped thinking of horse bellabog as my father a long time ago the bellabog of today has nothing to do with that selfish piece of trash kolveda how could you talk about your own father like that it's true a large sum of money was missing from the company's books, but no one can prove it was Uncle Horse who took it. The investigation Cousin. result and the claims he absconded Cousins. with the money were all okay. just pub sex speculation. I know all the bad press brought about by public security and losing your father hurt you, but you shouldn't resent your own father like that. You were too young to spend much time with him before he went missing to us. You don't know how wonderful you... You're the one who doesn't know anything! <sighs> Thanks, uh, sorry! I think we're getting further away from just explaining to Mr. Proxy who Horse was. 
And Grace, weren't you and Anton working on those three machines? What are you doing here? I came over to tell you I found a clue as to why they ran off. Oh, really? Great. Mm. Uh, After me. examining their logic cores, I found they'd all picked up the same signal from deep within a hollow before wandering off. The signal's identification code format is the same we use in the company. When decoded, the text reads BLG prototype. That's right, Coleta. Unbelievable as it sounds, the signal seems Dad? to be coming from the original prototype. Oh, it's the one that. Okay, that's the one that she actually named. The prototype. Could you explain? It was the first smart machinery made before the former president went missing. Our production line was somewhat outdated at the time, so we couldn't complete manufacturing independently. Apart from the core parts, everything else was outsourced to another manufacturer and produced according to our blueprint. Unfortunately, the old capital fell before the final delivery payment was made, even though the machine was completed. <sighs> the manufacturer was swallowed by the hollow and lost forever, along with the prototype. But it looks like the prototype is out there somewhere, and maintains mm -hmm. some level of functionality. You may not like what I'm about to say, Sweet Pea. I know you don't want to drag up the past, but that prototype is still company property. That prototype logic core has a lot of value. So what are you mm. gonna do? Go get it back? Or pretend it doesn't exist? We're gonna fucking go get it, obviously. <laughs> Calm down, guys. There's no need to jump to conclusions today. Even the most durable components can experience mechanical fatigue. Not to mention, we're all human. After running around in the hollow for so long, both our bodies and minds need relaxation. Uh, Anton's right. It's getting late. Uh, you must be tired. Mr. Proxy, please, go back and rest for today. If we decide to head into the hollow to look for the prototype, we'll be sure to contact you for assistance. All right, I do think we have a couple pulls that we can do really quick, you guys. So let's do that. Hey, I got another Sokaku. Couple balls. All right. Um. Let's see here. That's not what I wanted. Oh, we can actually do another one. Sorry. Hang on. Oh, we got an A. We have another M B. Awaiting further you on a test. I have to standing by. Uh, let's see here. This one. Hey. Halfway a weekend then be. Uh, and then we what did we get? Oh we got Sokaku. Here she is. 
I'm halfway with her too. Yay! So Kaku, ready! Okay, so what does it want me to do? Get some rest, okay. Um Yeah, I'm not gonna do like grinding or anything right now. I can do that later. When I'm not streaming it. Let's see if we can progress the story. I would like to do another story chapter. I may go back and try and restart that last one. Tom uh, tonight or whatever offline. right. Oh no, I kind of trust Anton's gut feeling. Coming, Proxy. Bellabog Industries has decided to officially start the search for the prototype. I'm glad you made up your mind. Must have been difficult. Yes. The prototype carries important company technology. As president, I can't just leave it out there. As for finding the prototype, Grace is the expert. Sorry, but I have other things to deal with today. So, you can talk to her about it. Uh, pr president wait! Kaleida walked away with her head hung low. There's still a bit of a grudge between her and Gr- <sighs> Don't worry, Ben. The president isn't the kind of person to change her mind after making a decision. Yes, and that's enough for Sweet Pea. I'll find a way to deal with the rest of it. <sighs> okay, then. Let's begin, Proxy. We'll start with the incident involving the lost smart machines. After carrying out a careful inspection, I found their logic cores were functioning properly and showed no signs of being corrupted by ether. They changed because they were receiving signals from the prototype. I'll skip the details, but the gist is the operating power of their logic cores has been improved. That is to say, the That's children became smarter by communicating with the prototype. But mm. of the three, only the pile driver, Friday, received a clear instruction. He was the one yelling about having to reinforce the seal as soon as possible. What is reinforce the seal supposed to mean? Wasn't that just part of his over-the-top delusions? Unfortunately, the little one hasn't been able to explain things clearly. But from what I gather, the prototype wanted the other machines to rush to its side. I studied the data the prototype sent them. The pile driver was the first to receive it, and it got the most data. The other two children received much less information, and the content also appeared sporadically. Also, none of our other smart machines received any communications from the prototype after these first three children went missing. Uh, so the prototype's communication module is likely incapable of actively contacting other devices anymore. Exactly. Kaleida likely realizes that. And probably regrets not making a decision sooner. But she shouldn't blame herself so quickly. Proxy, our smart machines automatically send a single byte confirmation signal when the communication module receives a message. It's a simple feature and is likely still functional. 
If that's the case, we can have each of the three children contact the prototype and triangulate its location based on the signal it sends back. Time is of the essence, Proxy. When we're in the hollow, we'll leave the navigation and target location analysis to you. Okay. Let's do this, you guys. We got this. I'm again not going to use yours that are lower level than mine. <laughs> that is the same team, basically. <laughs> Metro renovation project also goes through this area. Public security has yet to approve any units or individuals to enter. <laughs> I never thought we'd end up back here. Uh, you've been here before? This was a thriving new development area before the fall of the old capital. The government and tops invested huge sums of money in construction. Even Bellabog was working on a big project in the area. But that's not important. We should start looking for the prototype. Right. Then let me explain the plan. First, we'll send the pile driver, boring machine, and heavy duty grappler to three fixed positions in the hollow. Once they're all in place, Grace will turn on the signal transmission function so each of the three machines receives the return signal from the prototype as a repeater. The strength of the signals forwarded by the three machines as repeaters will be different. Then we just have to look for a good location to decode the signal and find the exact coordinates of the prototype. Yeah. Communication be. between us and the I prototype well. mustn't be interrupted until we finish decoding the signal. Wise, the location where Grace and the pile driver are headed to is nearby. I'll take them there. You just need to join the others and deliver the other two machines to their designated places. Let's find the prototype using these three machines. Grace, take the pile driver. Leave the other two to us. Master, the path ahead is blocked by debris. Clearing is required before we may... Understood. I will... Consign any obstacle to its deadly demise, as you command. Can you hear me, Proxy? The search is about to begin. I need your help gathering all the kids at the right place. Data installation detected, analyzed, and deployed. Transmitting message from the clock. Hey, Proxy, I just sent you a temporary control device. You can use it to maneuver these kids. Use the device's directional controls to make the boring machine move the way you want. Our goal is to get all of them moved into position, then transmit a signal to locate the prototype. Coordinates for where the boring machine needs to go have been uploaded. By the way, the boring machine can smash through walls, but can't deal with explosives. So be gentle when piloting her. I've uploaded the data. It's up to you now.
Primary control device deployed. Sig nice job there, Proxy. We're getting... Okay, same task. Grapplers are different from boring machines. Grapplers can handle explosives, but can't smash through... Send out your bro signal. All right, all three machines have been delivered to their designated locations. Grace, do you copy? It's time to start sending signals to the prototype. Roger that. The rest is up to you, my children. It's time to call your elder. We're getting a message back from the boring machine. All three machines are receiving a signal from the prototype. <laughs> awesome. What's going on? What's that noise on your end, Grace? It's nothing, just some ethereals. I'll deal with them in a minute. Well, it seems the high frequency signal from the transmitter not only affects the prototype, but gets ethereals riled up too. No, Grace, wait. <sighs> I'm detecting multiple individuals with high ether activity approaching you. I'm afraid you and the pile driver may have trouble fending them off. Stop transmitting the signal, Grace! You and the pile driver have to get out of there! Don't provoke the ethereals! No can do, Sweet Pea. Didn't the proxy say we can't let the transmission be interrupted until we decode the signal? I'm ordering you to stop transmitting immediately! We'll try again after we've dealt with the ethereals! I'll be frank, Coleda. The prototype is sending a signal, but the time interval between replies is getting longer and longer. That means the prototype's communication module no longer has the power to send confirmation replies for every message. If we stop now, we won't get a second chance. The prototype's logic core is vital to Bellabog, so I can't give up that easily. Don't be stupid, Grace. It's not about whether you give up or not. You can't handle that many ethereals by yourself. Even without the prototype, we can still develop new tech. That'll have to do, Coleda. My guests have arrived. I can't greet them properly while talking to you. Wait! Don't go! Grace! This! Damn it! Why does nobody ever listen? Proxy, we have to go save her! Yep, let's go. Warning. High-risk hostiles detected. They are rapidly approaching Grace's location. That's fine, let's go. Come on, let me go. Not good. We have to help her. Let me go. Let me go help. Let me go fight. This is why they didn't offer Grace as the trial team. Gotcha.
Grace's decision to cut off communication may not be commendable, but she wasn't acting recklessly. We were monitoring the situation from a distance, and she remained calm while fighting off the ethereals. It's precisely because of her that our search for the prototype hasn't failed. Grace knew the situation here. Things were urgent, and she didn't know how to explain it to you. I get it. I should have listened to what she had to say. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have made you worry. It's communication. I'm just glad you're all right. You two actually care about one another. If only you could just be honest with each other. Proxy, we can move on to the next step in fighting the prototype, right? Let's go. Grace went to great lengths to maintain that signal. Hmm. That's can't right. Let her efforts go to waste. <laughs> That's right. Yes! We have enough search data now! Locating the prototype! Optimizing algorithm. Target location confirmed. Wise, your current location is the most suitable one to amplify the signal. Wait a second. Barry and I will soon have the prototype's position. Calculating coordinates. Prototype location found. Generating a map of the area. Reminder. Since there are no working cameras in the hollow, the map was generated using street camera images from many years ago based on the coordinates. I'm sending you the map Barry has created. Ah! Got it. Let me see. Hmm. It's not very clear. I can just about make out a strangely shaped tower. Grace, let me see that. Oh, this is... What's wrong, Ben? Is there a problem with the prototype's location? President, back then... Just before the former president disappeared, Bellabog was awarded construction rights for a project in a new development area, the Pioneer's Memorial Plaza. This isn't a tower. It's a monument in the center of Memorial Plaza. What? The prototype is located in the plaza that the old man never finished? But... It was finishing but it. why? I don't know what's going on. But, looking at the picture, I have a bad feeling about it. The prototype's sudden appearance. It's like the president is trying to tell us something. Right. Didn't Friday say Horst was calling it? You're overthinking it. It might have brought up the name Horst, but an enlightened sinner. Stabilizing the seal? 
is all nonsense. But I am curious about what the prototype is doing here. We should go check it out. Of course we're gonna go check it out. Duh. Finally! We found it! The monument is just ahead. We're almost there. This is a pretty rough path, so watch your step. Anton! Let the proxy sit on the machine! Great. Is something wrong? You're so slow. Me? Oh, I was just thinking about something. Me? I'm slow? Good. If you're hurt and trying to hide it from me, you'll be in for it. Hey, sweet pea. We're family. Don't be mean. What? When I was in danger earlier, you called me sis, right? Ah, <sighs> memories. <laughs> I haven't heard you call me that since you became the president of Bellabog. Really? I didn't notice. I must have yelled it without thinking. In the heat of the moment, I saw the danger you were in, facing those ethereals, and my mind went blank. I could only think of one thing. I don't want to lose another family member. You risked your life for Bellabog's future. But as president, there was nothing I could do. I haven't been a very good president. Keep saying that and I'm going to get angry, Sweet Pea. I don't talk about my Sweet Pea like that. You fork these past years. You're still growing. That's a crazy saying. You work from <laughs> early in the morning to late at night. Am I gonna need to be the one to tell you you're not a machine? You say you're not interested in technical stuff, but your desk is all stuffed with my well-worn technical papers. Even though they're well-written. A kid your age, I don't know. Shouldn't you be reading comics or something? Oh, but come on. To you, maybe it's me who's incompetent. I said that I was doing it for the future of Bellabog. But perhaps I was just trying to salvage Uncle Horse's legacy. I thought, if you could just see the prototype in person, you'd understand what an amazing man he was. It's sad to think someone that outstanding was rejected by his own daughter. Sis. But ever since that day you said I knew nothing, well, I noticed some clues and started connecting the dots. Coleda. Have you been hiding something about Horse? I... The night Dad went missing, I saw him leave with my own two eyes. It was late at night, and I was woken up by the sound of a phone call from the living room. I came out of my room to see what was going on, and I saw him clutching this bulging bag. He was planning to leave without saying goodbye. I had a bad feeling about it, so I ran over to stop him. I asked him where he was going, but his bag was yanked open, and I saw it was filled with stacks of banknotes. I learned later, it was the money missing from Bellabog's accounts. I had no idea something like that happened. <laughs> yeah. After that, plus the public security report, I just can't believe in him as much as you guys do. So you suffered alone all these years? Why didn't you tell anyone? Wouldn't it have been easier to just get it out? <sighs> Who knows? I guess they thought if I said it out loud, yeah. that it would have been a bad person. She doesn't want to be a bad person. Like, that makes <laughs> sense. But you're right. I do feel better. Just promise me one thing, sweet pea, okay? Whatever happens in the future, we face it together. Bellabog is your home. Even without Horse, me, Anton, and Ben, we are all your family. Good right. Okay, I promise. Besides, okay, good. how's that saying go? Facts aren't always the truth. Maybe Horse had another reason for leaving that day. I'm not asking you to accept my point of view, but the mystery surrounding Horse will always haunt Bellabog, so we'll keep looking for answers. 
Right now, our priority is finding the prototype. Let's get going. This is it. The Memorial Square Bellabog built back then. Look! There's a big white thing over there by the monument! The slick colors, the handsome lines. Yes! That's the prototype! But why is it in that bizarre position? Hmm. I agree. It does look a bit unnatural. Like it's actively clamping down on the monument. Did something happen here? Ben, Anton, you guys go take a look around the monument. I'll take Grace and the proxy to take a look at the cockpit. Roger that. Whew. You two be careful in there. The prototype has been in the hollow for so long that it may have been corrupted in some places. Don't worry. The cockpit was well sealed. It's still pretty clean inside. Huh? This... This is... No mistaking it. That's a bullet hole. That's not all, Kalita. Just look around. There are bullet holes all over the cockpit. What? What happened here? The casings all fell inside the cockpit. So the gun was fired at close range. It looks like there was a struggle here. But with how much time has passed, it's impossible to tell if anyone was shot. There's a stack of notes on the center console. Wait, this is... Ben! Anton! Get over here! The proxy has found something! What is it, President? Look at this. That's a bill for the prototype. Not only does it have President Horse's signature, it has the date and amount on it, too. Yeah, the amount is the same as what disappeared from the company's accounts, and it matches the time of Horse's disappearance. So that means... Horse took the money to pay for the prototype manufacturing. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew a guy like Horse would never do something like running away with company funds! Horse's name can be cleared with this receipt as evidence! Uh, wait. Could it be possible Horse was the one that drove the prototype here? But why? And why did he disappear? We can't be sure about anything just yet. But with all those bullet holes in the cockpit, something terrible must have happened. The old man... My dad... didn't run away of his own accord. But then he hasn't come back either. In all likelihood, he's already dead. Damn it! I get it now. That phone call right before he left, it was just so weird! He was saying stuff like, you want me to pretend like nothing happened, and... What exactly is in there? Dad must have gotten involved in something dangerous. But what did he find? Why didn't he tell anyone before he... Don't worry, Kaleida. We'll find the answers. I just checked the prototype. The external memory unit in its logic core is intact. It must still have records from back then. I'll start analyzing the data the moment we bring the prototype back. We'll find the truth behind Horse's disappearance. I have a That's feeling right, that the President. monument is holding we'll find the a way. big ethereal or something. Is ready to help whatever you need it, Kaleida. That's why it's holding Everyone. the monument. It's the seal. Yeah. You guys are right. As oh President, no. I can't keep feeling sorry for myself. Oh no, that means when they take the okay. prototype, it's gonna come out. Let's get this prototype back! Oh no! Careful. Slowly now. That's it. Steady now, steady. No worries. I'm on it. <laughs> Job done. Let's go. We're all finished here. All right. Hmm. There's going to be a fight. Huh? Wait. I seem to have forgotten something very important. Right! The seal! My mental horse sent me a message telling me to strengthen the seal. <sighs> but what could the seal actually be? Hmm? Huh? Huh? Ooh, 
it's a new type of ethereal we haven't seen before. Something moving in the monument. Mm. Is it an ethereal? Doesn't look like one, but yet, ether levels are shockingly high. <laughs> that butt shot, though. Oh no, it's porous, isn't it? Shock! Proxy, you've seen all sorts. What kind of monster is this? Its outward appearance isn't that of an ethereal, but it doesn't look like a corrupted human either. What's wrong, Wise? What in the world? Oh no! Hans, Friday, come in! Their signals are gone, and ether readings are still increasing. Be careful, everyone! They like Voltron. It's huge. <laughs> it absorbed the machines. All right, let's do this. Ever quite time. This monster's aura. I've never felt like this before. Can't believe that was the monument. Yeah. Maybe it was this one. We didn't even see that attack. Ha <laughs> ha! 
I'll cover you. You just drop me like this. You need more rest, Press. You're still growing. <laughs> Damn it. If this continues, we're done for. Stalemate. The prototype doesn't sound good. Sweet pea, don't force it. It's corrupting the prototype. Wise, look who's here. Yo, Roxy! What's up? <laughs> How are you feeling, Kaleda? Eh, don't worry. Just a few scratches. They're almost all healed up. I kept saying I was fine, but my sister and Anton insisted I get a bunch of tests to the hospital just in case I have ether corruption. I understand why they're worried. You were in the prototype fighting that monster at close range for a long time. We don't know if it can cause any special harm to humans. Yep. <laughs> Makes sense. I guess you're right. Speaking of which, how goes the investigation into the monster and the prototype? Oh, that's actually the reason I came. Let's start with the monster. Public security called this morning. Said they're making the necessary technical preparations to recover the monster's remains. Oh, really? That's good. The remains left by the monster are pretty unique, so I thought it'd take public security longer to deal with. Yeah, that's thanks to those two pubsec girls who came to investigate the scene. But we can't just wait around while they investigate the monster. Can I leave this thing to you, Peyton? 
This kind of chip is the external memory unit from the prototype's logic core you mentioned before, right? Right, exactly. Back then, when he found the monster was hidden in the monument, my dad must have driven the prototype there with the intention of destroying it. If that's the case, mm -hmm. there may be some clues left within the external memory unit. But my dad used a special encryption process, so we have no way to read the data inside. So we I gotta do to it. Ask. Gotcha. Can you help? There's no need to be so polite, Kaleida. Besides, we actually have our own reasons for wanting to look into the monster. We'll find a way to decrypt the data inside. Don't mm. worry. Mm. Great. Yeah. Then I'll leave the storage unit with you. I have a meeting with the supplier, so I'll be heading out. Bye, Kaleida. Good luck with the project. See you soon. Yay. I'll be waiting for some good news from you. Hmm. I feel like Kaleida's demeanor has changed since we first met her. She's become so more like and more Kaleida's mature team. leader. It seemed like such a simple commission. I never expected it to unearth Bellbog's past and involve such a mysterious monster. Wise, didn't you say your eyes were feeling strange when that monster started emanating energy? My eyes started to feel yeah. uncomfortable. It didn't last long. But my eyes started to feel uncomfortable. There's definitely something off about where that monster came from. It might have something to do with that thing we've been trying to learn about. Anyway, the remains were handed over to public security. We have to find a way to decipher the information on this storage unit. Fairy, since we've increased our electricity bill fivefold to keep you going, <laughs> I assume you should be able to decipher it. I love that. I'd be happy to be of service, Master. However, given the need to decipher it quickly, your current system's computing power, and your electricity usage requirements, I do not recommend doing it here. There is a hacker on Internaut, codename Rain, who, judging by their resume, fits your current needs. This person has also done business with Nicole from The Cunning Hairs. Okay. Rain? <sighs> I've heard of her wise. She's a first-rate proxy when it comes to cracking encryption. So she knows Nicole. <laughs> that makes things easier. Nicole would never miss an opportunity to use her contacts to cover her debts, after all. Yep. 